Mitosis is the process that all cells use to duplicate themselves. Interphase is the pre-mitotic phase that all cells spend most of their time in. Mitosis begins with prophase, then continues to metaphase, then anaphase, and finishes in telophase. After mitosis has completed, the cell performs cytokinesis where it splits into two daughter cells. Some cells don't undergo mitosis at all, like these mature nerve cells, which is why it's so important to keep them healthy. There's no way of healing them. But for everything else, when we do our growing from a small embryo to a fetus to a baby to an adult stage is done through mitosis. Furthermore, if you have any injuries, it is mitosis that heals those injuries. And if you ate a little bit too much, it is mitosis that develops new fat cells. And here you can see the adipose cells or fat cells. When mitosis goes unchecked, this is what a cancer is. Basically all cells at some point need to die and this is called apoptosis. But if in, for some reason they do not have that cell death programmed in their DNA, then they become a cancer. Animals can get cancer, like this horse that had an eye cancer that must be worked on through surgery to remove. Here are the world cancer rates in 2012. And we can see in the United States, we have over 242 cases per the 100,000 people. Henrietta Lacks is one of the pioneers in cancer research. She had cervical cancer and donated these cancer cells, which have been still growing since the 1950s. Because it's cancer, it hasn't died. But keep in mind that we have not found a cancer cure yet. So if you see something online that talks about this miracle cure or this exotic fruit, it's just simply not true. Now, interestingly, plants do not get cancer like animals. They do develop these galls, but they are resulting from fungi like this orange guy or from viruses. But because plants have a cell wall, the cancer does not metastasize and spread throughout the rest of the plant like it can in animals. Let's begin by looking at a cell in interphase. I like to remember interphase as being in between mitosis. So we're not technically in mitosis yet. Here is our plasma membrane of the cell and our nuclear envelope, which you would be able to see under a microscope. Within the nuclear envelope, we have our nucleolus. And also within our nuclear envelope, we have the strands of DNA called chromatin. Also within the cell, we have these two centrosomes. Now we move into the beginning of mitosis and the prophase. I like to remember this as the P for replication. So at this point, our centrosomes are going to duplicate themselves.
our chromatins also begin to join together and also duplicate themselves. Now they're called chromosomes. At this point, the nuclear envelope disintegrates and we can no longer see the nucleolus inside the cell. The centrosomes locate themselves to polar ends or the opposite sides of the cell. Now the chromosomes can freely float inside of the cell and spindle fibers attach to the chromosome. Here we have our microtubules that attach to the centromere or the center of the chromosomes. Now we've reached the metaphase portion of mitosis. I like to remember metaphase like in the middle. So at this point, all the chromosomes have lined up into the middle of the cell. This movement was orchestrated by the microtubules. Now we have reached the anaphase part of mitosis. I like to think of A for pulling apart. And so the microtubules pull apart the chromosomes and they split up into sister chromatids. At this point, you can begin to see the plasma membrane cleaving to look as though it's going to pull into two cells. Now we've reached telophase. At this point, the chromosomes relax and the nuclear envelope and nucleolus reform. The cell continues to cleave. And this is the conclusion of mitosis. The very ending, we have cytokinesis, which is cell movement. At this point, we have two completely separate cells with identical DNA. These are called daughter cells. Now they're free to start mitosis from the beginning. So we just finished watching the last phases of telophase and cytokinesis in an animal cell. But it's important to note that in plant cells, they do not cleave off. This is because they have a cell wall, and so they form a cell plate, and this is what divides the two cells. Some cells do not undergo cytokinesis at all, like these muscle cells, which are a multinucleated cell.